honestly the cool thing to do now rather than trying to make the Empire of Carpathia would be to find a way to become the Byzantine Emperor because we do have that connection. Like we could... It would require a stupid amount of prestige. Um, and uh, and they have a, a lot of troops and a lot of allies, so that's maybe less feasible than would be cool, but I don't know. Yeah, so here we are. We, uh, we did it. Our, uh... Wait, do we really have that many levies? That's just that's just levies. Why do we have so many? That's just people liking us more. Hmm. Or is it because, or is the bitter winter ban being added to the levies? Let's see. Can we raise just levies? Yeah, no, there's got to be the Bitter Winter Ban getting added to it. And now they're, okay, yeah. So our real max number is about 3,000. Although it is going up. <laughs> Akgul? Since this is getting on the end, let's name her Terminus. <laughs> Alright. May you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter, or just, you know, get frozen in time forever. Countess Rosa. Oh! Countess Rosa became an Avar. Neat. Forgotten even by the forgotten standards of forgetting this. Thavia is not in great shape right now. <laughs> what if we declared another war in Moldavia? How much time do we have? We've got like 10 minutes. This Wait! Dude cannot get over this fucking top! Yeah, but they called it a spinning top this time. It's the exact same event text for this bit. Not this bit, but they call it a spinning okay. top. What the okay. hell? Okay, so okay, so uh, all right, a, a top like basically this is a pinwheel, like a scop roll is a pinwheel. Right. A spinning top is a top. A scop roll is like a pinwheel. So it's two different okay. toys that are both spin. Yes. Uh, what would trusting give him? Stop it. Hmm. Yeah, we really don't want to do a stress break at the moment, so I guess Fickle will be the thing. Alright, yeah, um... I don't know, what do we what do we do for the last ten minutes here? Just go for another war in Moldavia. They have very few troops, we could get them. Does it spark joy? I don't know, it would prove that uh Um What is our name? All right, Blink 420. Prove that Blink 420 is better at this than fucking uh, her mother. Yeah, what the hell? Let's see how, if this is just a terrible idea. Where are you out of here? Six. 
se uh, se Kiev has 7,000 troops? Maybe they just have a whole bunch of mercenaries. Yeah, that must be it. See what happens with that. Let's get some other allies. The Kingdom of Bulgaria. On the other hand, the Kingdom of Bulgaria is. Oh, we want match. No, wait. No, we don't. Um... Oh, Kentucky Bourbon. Hmm. Where are the French? <laughs> Ideally, you gotta plant those seeds. Achieved in a ballot, and that's not bad. She is a giant! Good. We need to get them giantest genes back in this bloodline. It actually gives you a minor penalty to health, which is an interesting, like, an interestingly accurate thing to do for an otherwise ridiculous trait to to get like oh yeah I want to be a giant all right yeah let's let's pull these guys in will you join my war yeah that should even things out a bit We actually have a lot of gold for mercenaries, too, if things go bad. Why? I guess it's just because the supply is very low. Well, we could split this into two different armies. One goes this way, the other one goes this way. But they'll actually also still take attrition, so yeah, let's just go that way. Take casualties. Is this the best commander we can have for this? He's got 23. Yeah, alright, let's do it. Now we just hope that Kiev doesn't bring 8,000 troops down and smash us. I mean, part of big growing up is acknowledging that you could get smashed at any time by troops from Kiev. Secret letter lost? Oh, somebody found that he was gay, I guess. I don't really understand what that means. Any, and who, who knows? Who cares? Uh, that was a little more... Well, we didn't lose too many in that fight. For these three counties, yeah. Whoa, hello! Fuck. Five days. Can we do. Do we. Did I see an organizer down here? No. Can we get an organizer? 
Some bits and bag of tires. Okay. Time to leave. Kiev is unhappy about us being involved here. Oh, we really don't actually want to be in a battle here, if you guys could leave or something. Oh no, they're leaving. Alright. Not bad. 45 is not bad to get another one of these. Any uh, prisoners we can ransom? Seven. Cannot afford full ransom of ten. All right, whatever. Who cares? Get out of here. No, 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 no. Fucking... No, I'll take it. I didn't accidentally retreat. The ironic thing is, we actually have... Uh, maybe not quite the local power to take on these 5,000 troops, but... Could. Hire some mercenaries, and that would really resolve this quickly. up on time here. Let's see if we can't smash this enemy army here. Negotiate alliance. Our nephew. Count of Pompolopolis. What the fuck? What? <laughs> I guess well, right. you can. Yeah, you can come. Sure, why not? Small bald nephew child. Absolutely, I will ally with you. Yeah, we really are coming up on they time. I suppose to... it'd be too much to ask for someone to just randomly betray you or stab you in the back, or for Snetana <laughs> to mow down your entire court with a machine gun or something. There, there needs to be, like, the way SimCity has a disaster button, there needs to be some sort of, like, personal crisis button in this game. <laughs> Can we find out who the killer was, maybe? The viewers are really going to complain if we never find out who the killer was. Uh, I need you guys to come this way and fight this war. All right, well, we'll yeah, end this series. We're, we might win even without their help. Okay. Take that, Kiev. Now get out of here. Go away. Well, I think, like, the lesson learned going forward is that Kiev definitely did not beat us. <laughs> that's that's going to be the takeaway of this series. The arch nemesis for the entire series was secretly Kiev the whole time. I, I'm really <laughs> glad that we were able to bring this back to the thematic, like, Kiev connection that's been just interwoven throughout the story. Oh, yeah.
Well, I don't think there's a more fitting epilogue. So, Crusader Kings 3. It sure is more Crusader King. I, it yeah. seems like it's more interesting to play uh, a little bit than Crusader Kings 2 was. See, I, I disagree. I, I missed the, the all the DLC packs that gave us insane shit. We became like a vampire, demon, naked man yeah. who lost oh, their genitals like, and had them sewn back on. That was the last no time we played Crusader Kings. Make no mistake. I, oh, I was about to come stupid. around to, unfortunately, and I do apologize uh, to yours. I think that this it was a little bit less wacky to watch. I yeah, know that I was so kind that of is the, hurting the for things problem. to talk about. That is kind of the problem with, with Crusader Kings. Uh, I think my wife just heard me scream vengeful. losing genitals and get them, getting them sewn back on. So Please, yes. I let's just make sure Ethan would have just become an incel. Um, oh. Someone joined, some enemy army joined. Oh, it's just the King of Kiev died. Yeah, unfortunately, the thing with Crusader Kings 3 is it is not quite as... Like, there's not nearly as much going on there as there used to be. Um, it's a little short on goofball shit. Yeah. I mean, it does the bare bones uh, palace intrigue stuff really well. And, and that's always been the, the backbone of the series. And it seems like it's done it without uh, their normal packet of terrible bugs which their games usually launch with yeah I mean, the launch of this game aside. is like like it's it's interesting you know um crusader kings 3 kind of launched the in the best state that a paradox game has launched in in a very long time um but it is very much like it's still a very foundational game they, they got the the basic mechanics going in a way that they didn't quite get to what like Crusader Kings 2 it took a few times and then you know Europe Universalis is just like I don't remember how many times they've fucking completely revamped the way that game works uh, but this game I think is is on solid footing it's just that they're it's only been out for like a year and there just isn't all that much interesting other DLC going on so you pretty much have the base experience here We, we also probably could have chosen something other than Transylvania. In retrospect, that may have been a poor choice. <laughs> yeah. I think the next time we play Crusader Kings, we should endeavor to choose a part of the world where we can respectfully and casually read off the names of the places that we are invading. <laughs> well, that and also just like, I, I don't think we even, we went on like one pilgrimage. There wasn't a lot of crusadering. Which, yeah, is, I understand it is kind of. Well, a there big was part of there was no things. crusadering, which is actually is one of the more point. interesting things because, like, Crusader Kings two launched with a very big focus on, at least as I remember it, um, playing as basically like the the Christian nations of Western Europe versus well, not Western Europe, but you know what I mean, um, versus yeah. the way this game launched with a lot more breadth in its religious background. Which Crusader oh. Kings 2 now beats, but that only was with years of DLC. Anyway. Yep, so that was uh, that was Crusader Kings 3. We'll be back. Uh, we're going to do um, some Patron Week stuff, because I haven't done that in forever. Um... But uh, and then don't, we're gonna start our, We're gonna start our new season. Oh yeah. boy, it's gonna be great! It's the best game. Long ever, requested ever season. Created. <laughs> Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. No, we're not. No, Cyberpunk. no, it's not Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. We're that, that is a joke. I, it's not that game. I I look forward to the day when we do get to Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven because Josh playing that game will be amazing. Even after these motherfuckers finish. are about to ask for Cyberpunk 2077 on Patreon Week, you do realize that. You know that's Fuck. still that's still not going to be painful compared to what it could be. I played Cyberpunk 2077 and then I refunded it. 
I mean, the, the yeah, the pain there is that I'll have to actually buy Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> the dog screams. Your dog agrees. <laughs> <laughs> the children of the night, what beautiful music they make in this Draculaculous monster region. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.